Now, we work on many particles. I'm going to share you a few. One of the points I wanted to make about particles, though, can, and several of them can be made about this perfluorocarbon nanoparticle, which is um, a, a perfluorocarbon like perfluorooctobromide, so it's not a gas, it's a liquid, covered with a single monolayer of lipid, and then a variety of uh, homing ligands here in red, or different constituents into the membrane, uh, including drugs or dyes or peptides like melatonin, we call those the nanobees. Uh, and we have a variety of chelates that we use for different purposes, gadolinium for MR, indium, nuclear cores, europium for paracest, and, and these, these agents are used for virtually all modalities. Now here's a picture of the nanoparticles bound targeted to fibrin and a clot. One of the major areas we were interested in is thrombosis, problem in cancer, the matrix for cancer, secondary cause due to the hypercoagulable uh, both state of patients, <clears throat> as well as uh, a major uh, proximal cause for heart attacks and strokes. So this was a, a major interest to ours many, many years and continues to be. And here you can see the particles are bound through a fibrin antibody, just like pearls on a string. <clears throat> we have a very high interest in angiogenesis and have for over a decade. This is an example of angiogenesis staining in the BX2 tumor. You can see this is the tumor and this is muscle. And the stain here in a rabbit BX2 with alpha B beta 3 LM609 shows the, shows the um, angiogenesis between the tumor and the muscle, not really in the tumor. So a lot of people were originally showing that angiogenesis is all through tumors. It's not. It's really along the growth front, and I'll show you more about that. What we're targeting is the alpha B beta 3.